unlike every other child, I grew up very stubborn. I used to lie, steal, insult, just to name a few. I was headstrong. I grew up in the midst of four adults, my mom, my grandmom, and my uncle. My uncle used to be the strong man. He would kick me off, hit me hard, just for some sense to get into my head. But that never stopped me from being stubborn because I didn't really understand why he was doing what he was doing. I didn't understand how to make it right. I didn't understand how to please him or please the family or please everyone. I was just a kid. Like every other child, I used to steal from my mom's pot. I was the only child living in the house. So if something is missing, they probably know the rat that took it away. When I started stealing from my mom's pot, she scolded me, she would question me, and sometimes I would lie. And she always knew when I was lying, because I was not really that good at lying. Her scolding and her torturing with my uncle's torturing never stopped me from doing what I wanted to do. One day I actually stole from my mom's pot and she discovered. Then she caught me, she began to talk. She didn't torture me that day. She gave me a seed and I sat. And she asked me if I knew why she didn't want me to steal from the pot. I said no. And she said, do you think it's good to cheat? I said no. Do you think when it's lunch time, you aren't going to have your lunch? I said no, I don't think so. And she asked me, why would I choose to cheat every other person? I well know that the food that is there is for everyone. And if I'm eating now to come and eat later, then I'm just cheating everyone. She kept talking and she kept explaining to me the effects of what I was doing, not just to myself, but to the people that were living together with. And I got to understand that I was doing more harm than good. And from that day, I never stole from my mom's pot again. Because she made me understood that everything that was in the house actually belonged to me. And I had my share in it. And so why cheat other people? So when I'm all alone in the house and I get tempted, I just look at the pot and I tell myself that it's mine. So why should I steal from it? I just need to wait for the right time. And that is how I stopped stealing from my mom's pot. There are many other things that were bad that I stopped doing when I was small. And the reason why I stopped wasn't because I was scolded, wasn't because I was beaten. It was because I was educated. These things were explained to me and I got to understand that this is wrong. And whenever I do it, I don't just hurt other people, but I hurt myself. As a kid, I stopped fighting. I stopped fighting because my mom explained to me why it wasn't good to fight. And at a tender age, I understood how to win a fight without fighting. What worked for me might not work for every child. But you must understand that there is time for everything. There is time to scold your kids, to discipline them, and there is time to educate them. Let them understand the effects of what they are doing. Let them understand the consequences so that when you are scolding them or disciplining them, they know why. When children do not understand or comprehend the reason why you punish them, they take your discipline for hate. Be that kind of a parent that appreciate. Don't always complain. Isn't there anything you can comment on? When children do what is right, commend them. When they do what is not right, correct them. Train up a child the way he should go so that when he grows up, he will not depart from it. Now, if you're giving your children some sort of military training, you definitely know what they will become. When children are trained the hard way, they become more stubborn. Don't think that they are too little to understand. Teach them the way to go. Teaching is part of training. Without giving them the theories, you can't expect them to manifest the practicals. Thank God for my mom. 
she understood that I needed lectures so that whenever I'm doing something that is wrong I know that this thing is wrong and whenever I'm being punished I know that I'm being punished for doing something that is wrong when children begin to think that you're punishing them for no reason they take your correction for hate you can become a better parent start today thank you very much for watching i hope you were blessed by those words please subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload videos like this you get to watch also do well to share to like and to comment follow me on facebook on instagram and on twitter watch other videos here subscribe here thank you very much see you next time